Nigeria we hate our own dear native land. Though tribe and tongue may differ, in brotherhood we can stand, if only we agree to agree or disagree. While the rest of the world and Africa is celebrating some of our own, Ngozi Okonjo Ewela, Akiume Adeshino, and Amina Mohammed, we are here killing ourselves over the place of rotten tomatoes in Shasha in Oyo State. And the fear of people who have lived with us for years from taking over our community. We are discussing what cows should eat, where they should walk, how AK-47 loaded guns should be used to guard them in Bauchi, why terrorists kill scores in Sokoto and kidnap students in Niger State. How about the beheading of clerics in Boronu and militia headers wrecking havoc on defenseless farmers in Ondo, Benue, Plateau, and Taraba State? then kidnapping villagers, students, and travelers in Kasina, Edo, Ogu, and Kogi State. But those who should protect us says we should grant amnesty to deadly terrorists in Borono and Sanfara. Why peaceful protesters in Lagos are brutalized and terrorized by the police, and rape victims in Kaduna and Nasara State are asked to make the bed and accommodate their rapists in clean sheets. Yet the president is holed up somewhere with occasional press releases from his aides. The victim is in all of this is neither compensated nor assured hope of a better tomorrow, even though they, the victim, are falling over one another to elect the same people who have consistently shown lack of capacity into yet another round of leadership position come 2023 for as little as 500 naira per vote, despite still waiting for the promised democratic dividend. We just a fool ourselves. No wonder they are busy jumping from one party to another, pretending to want to serve the people. When I went on, jumpology, mass server, I don't blame them. Are we for Nigeria, not for lack of wise people, but because we have allowed intellectually disabled people who have invested heavily in violence, ignorance, turbulence, and poverty to take over the reign of the intelligent ones. We have allowed the lawless, pretending as Praetorian Guard to rule over the law abiding, and nobody can rescue us but ourselves. According to my friend and brother, Agba Jalingo, years after independence, we're still going around this circuitous rigmarole. The same fear and anxiety that tormented the carapace of our mind for decades have continued to hover over us like an absurd goblin. This is not necessarily because we hate each other or anyone wants to take over another home, another's homeland, but because the state has relinquished large swaths of the country to non-state gang lords and ethnic supremos who now appropriate and colonize slices of the country on their own terms, while in some cases pretending to guard same for the interest of the larger all. Marudas, militants, ethnic warriors, kidnappers, and bandits, terrorists, just name it, and it's replicated somewhere or everywhere in Nigeria with active connivance of state actors and leadership silence. While we celebrate the opportunities given to Nigeria in Canada, US, Australia, and other modern countries to visit, reside, work, become citizens, and even aspire to elective offices therein, yet we refuse fellow Nigerians the same opportunity to grow or stand for elected positions in their state of residence simply because they are non indigenous of such states. Even though that's the only home they know, haven't lived, and in some cases grew businesses and intermarry in these places. No, they're only good for population census and voting, but definitely not to be voted for. This mindset must change. You celebrate your kids born in America and Canada becoming citizens of this country, but still address kids born in your state on the basis of state of origin of their parents, claiming it is the constitution. If this is not hypocrisy, then tear your dictionary. Until we, until we change that mindset, we will not commence the journey of creating a place you can call a country. A government sworn to guarantee the welfare and security of our people has left these same people at the mercy of killers, militias, and warmongers. While looking for reserves for cows and guns to protect headers, shouldn't be shocked 
when citizens take laws into their hands and journalists report the story with a touch of falsehood. I will therefore advocate that until we put Nigerians in the hands of people who understand what the Constitution says when it stated that the security, welfare, education, health, freedom to coexist, and the ability to deal with criminality irrespective of tongue or tribe are paramount to the existence of any nation who might just be sitting on the keg of smoking gold powder already exploding before our very own eyes. And to avert this, we must agree to agree and agree to disagree peacefully, coexistentially, and return to a Nigeria where Kabiru Ahmed from Kassina State becomes a commissioner for waterfront infrastructure development in Lagos without anyone asking where is he from, but his competence. In Nigeria, where Alhaji Maru Atine from the north beats an Igbo contestant to emerge the first mayor of Enugu in eastern Nigeria in the First Republic. A professor Pat Utomi should be able to contest election in Lagos, where he has lived all his life than in Delta State, his state of origin, where he's hardly known. In Nigeria, where Chinedu Ayaun from Imo State can walk up to Alhaji Suleiman Galadima in Kano to ask for his daughter's hand in marriage without fear of a mob attack from youth in the locality. In Nigeria, where Bashir Abdullah from Bauchi State will be scared to send his kids to Amanayabo Secondary School in Yenagua in Baesa without knowing anybody therein. It's possible if only we talk with one another, not minding our tribe or tongue, and we, the followers, are determined to make it happen. Government must also invest more in education. Even though we all can't be educated, as some of us will always do menial jobs or become headers, the more educated and knowledgeable we are as a people, the more accommodating and rational we will become. Even though, in Nigeria, education does not guarantee tolerance, it will at least reduce our ignorance and hypocrisy. I beg to move. Mm. Move, oh, liberals. So, so move. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, when we saw the images of, of the classrooms and boarding rooms of the, the, the young children kidnapped from Kagara, um, quite a lot of people wailed on mm. social media. Correct. How could our children have been sleeping in such pathetic conditions and attending school and learning in such conditions? You, you've said let and let live. Are our politicians, the legislature, the Nigerian legislature, living and letting the others live? No, they are not. They don't, they, they, don't, they don't care. I, no, they, they don't care. No, let when, me, when you're let done, I will attempt to answer that your question. Somebody, living and 20 letting. marks for the exam. Somebody, <laughs> some, they know, it's but they don't easy. care. Yeah. For example, a friend of mine um, that lives in London, um, the other day I was in London and we were talking, and he was telling me how he can never come back to Nigeria. Why? He said, Baba, I come long long. My wife wasn't born. They don't go to hospital, don't born. Before they allowed his wife back home with the child, he said they send people go house, go check whether switch there, whether this one there, whether this one there. Child safety. To make sure that the child is safe in, in that, that house. house first. Yes, sir. <laughs> they do we, that we, outside We live in an environment well. where... They don't do that in Nigeria. The pregnant woman... Will be well, the one to look for her fire. Exactly. Now, Okada, a labor, a, a woman in labor. They use by way barrel carry some. <laughs> to the hospital. So, what, what are we doing? We are live we in a society about? where even the pregnant woman, they have no mercy for her when she goes to the hospital. Madam, open your leg. We did that when you did one. I'm don't telling don't you. Care. It's, 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 so, but quickly, let me answer your question. Yeah. Eh? Living and let's live. If you remember when, the, during the NSAS protest, the same government you criticized, you will talk about, it is a few of us that they gathered to disrupt yes. the rest. If only we speak with, this, one, voice. with one voice, that's right. the leave and let's leave that I'm talking about. We agree to disagree and disagree to agree and say, look, these people are fighting our cause too. So you are the enemy. Our yeah. politicians will respect us. If only we leave and let that our neighbor that is feeling the pain like us. Right. I, I, I Where you're right, uh, Bolahan, one minute. Where you're right, even the last protest, uh, the, the one that Just happened last weekend. last weekend, there was a particular group who, which had prepared itself to yeah. defend. Defend. They never gave out. They were used as well. Yes. 
he was just but, incredibly but, but quickly, insane but, but to hear he, that. He, he, but, but, their job was to put fear. Correct. But, but And he worked. But do you know, if we know that, look, Treasure I have lived with all my years. So why should a politician come and tell me Treasure is my enemy because she's from so another Osho, tribe. and yes. so I am a do, and so we should go and chase them out. And a politician, for a selfish interest, is sending me on that errand. I will tell him no. So this is where Treasure I is not my enemy. It is your you. depriving me yeah. of the basic things. That is people so, need to understand. Sorry, sorry to cut you. People just just like you said, people need to understand that PDP. APC, because I see two political parties, the same. they are not the opposition. They are the same. We, the people, are, are the, the opposition. opposition. Yes. Then That's it has right. to be bewitchment for <laughs> we, the people, who are in the opposition, to be defending them, the politicians, because, because of they poverty. They are ahead it's of poverty. us when it's it comes to the manipulation. They manipulate which us. Is why, which is and why... Which is why the COVID, um, um, the palliatives. palliatives that they gave to you to give to people, you keep it. One actually kept everything because he wants to share it on her on birthday. On her birthday. Her birthday. birthday. And nothing has happened to her. And we wanted, nothing has happened we wanted to, her. to recall her, no, but nothing, nothing, nothing has happened to her. Nothing will happen to her. You know why? Why? Because the moment something wants to happen to her, she they, will expose everybody. No, she would say. The Igbos want to fight exactly. Yoruba. Yeah, there will be placards and about people by, by supporting so her. Exactly. No, but the people supporting her are paid agents, and we know of that. But even I'm saying that, that even, if you know, you know. even if you know, there's nothing you can do about it. That's the I thing, thing I say. We're all deceiving ourselves. When, 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 when someone married a 14 year old girl, there were women from his state who carried placards, who carried placards to come and protest that why because are they disturbing they say, him? Jumoke, quickly, why do you think that when that happened? Those in the north, even who are suffering the pain, say no, it's our tradition, mm -hmm. it's our culture. Exactly. The south should not interfere exactly. in this matter. Exactly. Are they not the ones even asking for underage voters as wives to now be voting? Oh. I think the, the tools that our politicians use, one is poverty, Number two one. is distractions. They use like asking, like going to the legislature. To legislate that bleaching creams should not be. <laughs> Why should that be a priority? Why should that be a priority? Like there was one I saw in the news yesterday or the day yesterday that, that they nice. want to uh, that they want to vac uh, vaccinate 1.5 million dogs in Nigeria. Oh, you haven't you haven't seen Lagos that? State. No, I have in Lagos State. I don't know. Do we have that number of dogs? Do we have that number of dogs? Do you mind being shouting, gentlemen? I have no <laughs> but, but they do really. Didn't you didn't you see how much was budgeted to feed horses and dogs oh. during the election? Oh, so why are you who are the you? police dogs? Eh? <laughs> yes. How many dogs did you see during that election? None came None. out. None. <laughs> Even bingo. Even the police that were deployed, <laughs> the police that were deployed didn't get that enough money. And they had dogs but, who were meant to. So, so until the people rise to say yes. no more. And when I say rise, I do not mean in a you know violent in a way. Negative way. It's yeah. just that the people say, you know what? No more. Yes, we must agree to agree but and we agree must agree and, agree. and speak with one voice. Let's continue to advocate oh, so that it will happen. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep advocating um, and then um, mode opinion and someday we might be able to change your mindset. There's certainly never enough time, but we make do. Please don't just listen. Remember what they say. Rome was not built in a day. Play your own part, even if it's just to share the advocate with families and friends. The more diverse thoughts we share, the richer the solution they inspire. Don't forget this, the advocacy continues on our social media platform, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. And on Twitter and Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. And to catch up with previous broadcasts, Simply go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the advocate ng. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Join us next week, same time on this same station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Until then, adios. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking, it's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country 
when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.